Hey, hearty welcome to my channel. Today our topic is reversal of obesity. Special mention is called for the reversal of obesity as it is not an easy process. No doubt prevention of obesity is better and advisable than reversal. For this it is essential that a person must acquire knowledge of causes and complications of obesity and develop discipline and determination to prevent obesity if a person has become already obese immense efforts are required for reversal like diet management exercises medications and as a last resort surgical intervention the first step is to determine the body mass index to arrive at the degree of obesity when a list of foods and beverages consumed daily is to be prepared at least for a week to arrive at the average calories consumed daily this is to find out how certain foods and beverages can be excluded to reduce the calorie intake the, the help of a dietitian may be sought in this regard the dietitian may also choose a diet plan out of the prevalent and well known diet plans in consultation with the obese person let us investigate these diet plans the paleo diet includes lean meats fish fruits vegetables nuts and seeds this diet determines remains as of the food of the human the vegetarian diet in which meat fish and poultry are not eaten and they are replaced by grains fruits and vegetables in the vegan diet all products of animal origin are excluded the vegans do not eat meat fish poultry honey eggs gelatin and dairy products another diet is called mediterranean diet which is high in fat in the form of olive oil fruits vegetables whole grains beans fish nuts and seeds then comes keto diet which is a low carb high fat diet the ingredients in this diet are peanuts coconuts almonds flax seeds pumpkin seeds sesame seeds hisab bor isolated wheat protein isolated soy protein goar gum and so on when keto diet is used for the reversal of obesity the body gets little or practically no carbohydrate for generation of energy and therefore the body goes into a metabolic state known as ketosis ketosis by which fat is burned or energy and weight loss occurs the dietitian the dietitian in consultation with the obese person may choose one of the diet plans or adopt continuous calorie restrictions ccr intermittent calorie restrictions icr or alternate day fasting adf coming to the exercise regimen a physiotherapy therapist may decide the type of exercise and equipment if needed for the purpose like stationary cycle treadmill or any other specially fabricated contrivance the progress achieved by the obese person is closely monitored and depending on the process my decision is taken whether to employ medications the drug semaglutide taken once a week works for suppressing appetite centers in brain this anti obesity drug approved by fda is said to be almost twice as effective when compared to most of the drugs used for weight control semaglutide semaglutide reduces hunger and intake of calories resulting in weight loss of about 15% if diet exercise and medications fail to bring about the desired results then the only alternative left is surgical intervention to reverse obesity experts are of opinion that liposuction 
is not the best solution for a poor city. However, they suggest bariatric surgery, which consists of surgical procedures like gastric bypass, duodenal switch, gastric balloon, and others. Bariatric surgery is very rarely, rarely recommended in exceptional cases because of the risk involved and post-surgical complications. Hope you will find this presentation useful. And if so, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye till we meet again.